everyone welcome back to my channel I'm so excited to have you guys here again today so today I want to do something a little different or maybe I put a little more research into this video I'm not really sure um, by the way if you don't know me my name is Hannah and welcome if this is your first time but I was looking back on um, my past videos and because I'm always saying I want to create con content that you guys want to see um, I was looking at my most viewed video and it is the Stranger Things video. Now I want to thank everyone so much for all the love on that video. Now you may say like, oh wow, that's like not very many views, but I've only been doing this for a year. So, um, so I am newer at this whole YouTube um, deal. So anyway, I want to do another look using the Stranger Things eyeshadow palette and since it's springtime, well, it's sort of springtime here. It's, I live in Montana, so it's like spring one day and it's still snowing like the following day. So I don't know. Anyway, it's very spring day today. So you can call it spring. Um, anyway, so I want to do a spring look with this palette. Now, I was kind of looking at this palette. It's kind of funny because a lot of these, all of these shades are pretty much like spring inspired um colors which is kind of funny because the bit or the tv show itself is kind of like dark and not colorful so i i find that kind of funny i mean i guess it is kind of based on their personalities maybe more um yeah that would make more sense since it's based on personalities but this is a very springy looking so i want to go ahead and do a spring look um with this I also pulled out a lot of um, items I have not used in a while or I feel like I haven't ever used maybe so I want to go ahead and use those I'm also excited because I cleaned my brushes yesterday and so now I am starting off with all kinds of new clean brushes which I, I'm happy about okay as you can see I already did my brows off camera I used the morphe um, I or not eyeshadow excuse me brow pencil and I do believe this is in like oh yeah Java this is it right there yeah, it's fine. Um, and then I also used um, soap to set my brows um, if you guys don't know you can set your brows with a bar of soap so I've been doing that lately and I also trimmed them up and my face is a little red because um, I also went ahead and um, kind of just cleaned up my face with a razor and my brows and stuff so that's why it's a little on the red side. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna start off with my face first. So I wanna go ahead and prime my face. Now this is the L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock Primer. This is the illuminating one. I, I do believe that they have a matte version as well. But I'm just gonna go ahead and start by priming my face. I feel like I haven't sat down and done like a actual like um, makeup tutorial in a while. Like I've been doing a lot of other kind of fun things. So it'll be nice to kind of like sit down and go through all the steps and stuff again. Okay, so the next I want to use the LA Colors, um, excuse me, Conceal and Correct Concealer. Um, this is just going to help hide some, a lot of that like red undertones in my face, which I naturally have anyway. So, and since I used a razor on my face, then I want to go ahead and kind of minimize that redness as much as possible because then I won't have to layer up that foundation. Okay, and since it's spring and springtime is fresh, I kinda wanna go with more of a fresh looking complexion. So I'm gonna go next into the NYX Born to Glow um, Liquid Illuminator. And I'm just gonna put some of this on my hand and then distribute it with my fingers. And don't look at my crazy hair. It's kind of one of those unmanageable hair days and so I'm just gonna kind of let it do its thing be wild and crazy look at how shiny this face is okay so next I'm gonna go into the L'Oreal Lumi Match Healthy Luminous Makeup Foundation I'm gonna just give this a good little shake I really have been loving this and this is in the shade let's see soft ivory so if you're my shade right now then you want to pick this up I would definitely recommend it this also has um, SPF of 20 in it so it's really going to help um, protect your face from the Sun or the Sun reflecting off the snow I think I'm gonna distribute it with a brush and then maybe go in with my sponge okay so next for concealer I'm gonna use the um, age rewinding concealer from Maybelline it's been a hot minute since I've actually used this and if you guys see glitter all over my face or in my hair that's because I had a lot of glitter on my face yesterday and then I fell asleep with it on and then it got everywhere 
and because I'm a bad person and I did not wash my face before I went to bed last night. Okay, I'm just gonna take my sponge and bounce that out. But anyway, yeah, that glitter got everywhere and I've tried night and day to get it off my face. Okay, so I'm gonna skip bronzer for the moment and I'm gonna go ahead and go into the flower um, blush balm and this is in the shade Nectar. I really love this shade. I only have one of these. I, I want to pick up the rest of them because I really truly do love the flower blush bombs. And then I think I'm going to take a brush and distribute this because the sponge tends to pick up the product and I am kind of wanting to go a little more heavy handed with this blush today. Okay, so I want to be a little more extra with my blush. I'm going to take the Honest Beauty blush in the shade Rose Pink. If I can get it open, I'll use it. There we go. And it looks like this here. It's a very pretty shade and it is also a cream blush. I really like that for summer and spring. I feel like it's less powdery looking and really just blends into the skin nicely. Okay, so next for powder, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. That was a lot of words. And I'm just gonna take my wet sponge and dip it in. Um, first, I'm gonna pat out these creases underneath my eyes so I don't set the creases. And then I'm just gonna go straight in and kind of just dab it all over my face. I find that using a wet sponge or a damp sponge kind of helps melt that powder into the rest of the cream products. And so that way I get less of a cakey look to the skin. A lot of people don't like doing this, but I find that it helps. So you can try it out once and see how you guys like that. And I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and then just well, fix my brow first and then I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of smooth out her parts of my face to make sure I got everywhere and take off that excess powder. Okay so next I want to go into the Hoola bronzer. I have not used this in a quite some time so I'm excited to pop right into it. Just chisel out the jaw lines and cheekbones so we get a nice contour look slash bronzed. No double chin. Don't want you to see all the cake I've been eating in this quarantine. Instead, I want to look like a bronze glowing goddess. And I'm also stippling this across my nose as well. I'm just taking that fluffy brush and kind of just making sure I've got it all blended. No harsh lines. Okay, so next for highlighter, I want to go into the Cody Airspun Loose Face Highlighter. This is in the shade... Why does it take me so long to find the shade names? Oh, Snow Much Ice. It doesn't take much for this highlight, so like, see, wham! That was just one swipe. Like I said, glowing bronzed goddess. Goals. Gotta just boop that nose for that booping nose highlight. Oh dear, I think someone needs to come take my highlight away. I'm going crazy. Never hurt anyone, right? I'm just gonna actually take it also up here on my brow bone, kind of just sweeping it like that. Ooh, she's glowy. All right, so next for the grand eyeshadow look. So I think I'm going to go into the shade 11 right here, the purple lavender lilac -y shade on a fluffy brush. And then I'm just gonna put this all over my lid for a white wash soft purple. I think I'm gonna keep it pretty simple on the eyes today or just that soft spring glowy look. And you can go pretty heavy handed with these eyeshadows because they are quite buildable so you're not gonna just be explosive with color. That's super pretty. I'm not sure how well it's picking up on camera but in the real, in the real world, it's just this white wash of purple. It's really pretty. If I say it's white wash, I mean light wash. So next I'm gonna take more of a flat defined brush and I'm going to go in the same shade and run it underneath my lash line and connecting it to the outer corner here at the top. Also, I'll make sure I have everything here that I'm using linked down in the description box below. I'm not sure if you can still get this um, online. Um, gosh, where did I get this? I can't remember where I actually bought this, but I do know that they have them on Amazon, so I'll have it linked down in the description box. And I, it's a little more on Amazon than it was when I bought it. it was um, $12.99, I think it might be like $19, but you can still get this on Amazon because I did look, 
Um, and I do have an affiliate link, so I'll have everything that I use linked down below so that you can get these items as well. Okay, so this yellow is really calling my name. I mean, yellow is always calling my name because something about yellow eyeshadows, I just, I don't know, they get me every time. So I'm just taking it on a pencil brush and I'm going to use this on the inner corner of my eye. I am kind of fanning it up into the corner of my eye as well. Like so. Gosh, I, I feel like you can't, well, I'm looking in the monitor and I can't really see it, but let me just, let me come close to you guys. So this is what we're kind of dealing with right now. You can see it's just a white or a really light wash of color, that purple. Gosh, I wish you could like see this better. Did anyone notice that these lash curlers really look like some kind of like torture device? It's kind of scary. So next I'm going to go in for a hard time to pick it again. Next I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. times J Kiss uh, mascara and this is a sh brown shade and um hers this is a limited edition and so um you can use any brown mascara i will see if it's on amazon okay so i'm gonna also run um this maybelline brow um precise fiber mascara through my eyebrows just so they get a little more shape to them and they hold then I'm gonna go into this NYX lip liner pencil in the shade, and the shade has worn off, so I can't tell you what shade it is, but it's a pretty nude color. Okay, so then I wanna take the Revlon Metallic um, Matte Liquid HD lip color, and then I'm just gonna apply this to the lips as well. And of course, since I'm using the palette, I thought I might as well go ahead and use one of the glosses from the Stranger Things set as well. I did have to buy these separately, they didn't actually come in a set, but I'll have these, like I said, linked down below as well. And this is the flavor strawberry. Icky. Oh, it smells like strawberries. Mm. But like the not fresh mm, strawberries, it's more like the sugar fakey strawberries. That cold medicine. Isn't that nice? Let's finish up this look with the Mario Badusco Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. This one smells so delicious. We're drenching your face. And then I'm just taking my sponge and I'm kind of just dabbing over the water droplets and also pressing any powder I may have into my skin and melting it away. All right, everyone, that's um, the look here using the palette again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as you did the last video or even better. I'm not really sure because that was filmed a very long time ago. So anyway, guys, I really think you should pick up this palette because if you're wanting some colorful spring looks um, and that's affordable and um, if you're a beginner and you're having a hard time, blending out shadows or things being too pigmented for you, this would be a really good one to get. Like I said, I will have everything linked down below in the description box. Um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I upload videos every Friday and I will see you guys next week. Bye.